witness against anybody in your heart, you make that known and set it aside before you go ahead to pray. And so, how um, accessing God's presence, we have understood, can be hindered by um, the, the heart of bitterness and unforgiveness. And we also see that bitterness in the heart makes prayer which is your bid to access God, a fruitless exercise. And anything that embitters your heart imprisons your life. Now, beloved brothers and sisters, anywhere the devil comes and tries to make you bitter, he's doing so because he knows that if he can multiply bitterness through many issues in your life and he can provoke you to stay in the state of bitterness, that your prayers would definitely be hindered. But beloved brothers and sisters, today, this morning, you are going to make up your mind that where there is bitterness, where there is unforgiveness, where there are people that you have held in your heart, this is your opportunity to forgive them. This is your opportunity to let them go and to release them from your heart. Beloved, endeavor to critically check your heart. Are you bitter? It is a, it is a major cause of blocking your access to prayer. Maybe you've been praying for healing. Maybe you've been praying to be maritally established. Maybe you've been praying for the fruit of the womb. Maybe you've been praying for your finances to be healed. Maybe you've been praying for something which I might not be able to tell now. And you're wondering why are others coming back with their testimonies? And I haven't seen mine yet. And maybe you say you don't fornicate. Maybe you, you don't, you know, there is, there is even immorality that is in the heart. Looking on a woman lustfully like the scripture says. Maybe you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do any of those things that otherwise would have been considered a sin. But there is bitterness in your heart. There is an unforgiveness. There is a malice. There is a grudge. There is somebody... When you see in church, you just eye and turn your eyes the other way. Maybe there's somebody who you won't pick their call or you won't, I don't know. But this morning, I want to give somebody an opportunity. You've been struggling with bitterness. It's not intentional. And you want to say, Pastor, help me get out of this. It might not be a sin like being an armed robber and killing people but it ends people in the same hellfire as those kind of obvious sins and this morning you want to say pastor pray for me i really need god's help i don't want this person to carry me to hell in in on top of how he or she has annoyed me and you want to be prayed for please wave your hand let me see you god bless you god bless you stand up on your feet i'll pray for you where you are I pray for you where you are. Stand up. It's just bitterness. But even though we call it just, it can end in disaster and end in a place you don't want. And if there's somebody here today, you want to say, Pastor, pray for me. There are even other sins in my life that are standing in the way of my making eternity in heaven. Join my brothers and my sisters up. Why, why is that light on? You are taking a picture or doing a video. Please stand up on your feet. I see you all standing. Lift up your hands. Sir, would you like to pray? Father, we thank you for these people. We ask that you will deliver everyone today from this weight of bitterness in the name of Jesus. They may have been offended so badly. They may have been traumatized in many ways but there is grace in you that causes us to release our offenders amen let this grace be released amen in the name of jesus christ amen the grace to forgive amen. the grace to release i declare it upon you amen mercy from god yes lord Say after me, say, Jesus, Jesus, I come before you today to release my offenders. 
Help me, Lord, to forgive, to go forward. I receive that grace to forgive and go forward. I cannot go to hell because of the actions of other people. So I release them and I receive mercy and I go forward in Jesus' name. So I pray for you today, receive that grace, receive mercy, receive help to go forward. And I call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. I see glory everywhere here. At the count of seven, you place your hands on your head, scream the glory. Something that my Father in heaven has not planted in your life shall be uprooted. A sickness, a disease, an affliction, a demonic presence. Lift your hands high. Father, let it be. Let it be. Let a chain break. Let a yoke break. Let an affliction disappear. Let the torment evaporate. Shatoko pakata kalakata kayada kalakata. One, two, three, four, five, six. When we reach up to seven, you place your hand on your head and scream the glory. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. broke a chain broke thank you master we'll take the testimony shortly but take your seat Yeah. 